All right, time for Scott Sattler and Matt Rogers. Thanks to Best Sheds. Best Sheds, 25% off the entire range. Sale on now. Visit bestsheds.com.au. Okay, so the boys coming mm. in live. How are we going, Satsy? We, we're How? going good. We're going good, Fletch and Missile. How are you boys? Yeah, how's my man, the rats? Not as good as the turkeys. Yeah, rats. rats yeah, 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 the Turkish. I love it. So we just took, we just peeled back the curtain for the listeners who are just tuning in. So we mm. had the top 10 countries for average number of sexual partners. Turkey yep. came out on top. And Rat, what did you ask? What? He said turkeys. What? The animals. One, the gobble gobble yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> no, the country. Oh, right. Right. The country. Yeah, Can okay. I just get you to read out, uh, Fletch, for the boys? So you read the top ones, but what about the bottom three? I don't have the bottom three. I've got oh, the bottom sorry. three. Honourable mentions. Uh, China... India, because the divorce rate's very, very low over there, so I can understand that. But they have G- three each. Germany and the Netherlands. I thought they were quite Germ- Only five in Germany. Yeah. I thought they had, like, the, the sex clubs and all yeah. that sort of jazz. Wunderbar. Were you surprised by that, boys? Mm. Well, well, I am now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Net- thanks for letting me know. I can't, I can't, I'll, I'll, I'll I actually can't believe tonight. I can't believe that someone's done a study on this. Yes, yeah, I know. Well, yeah, well the Netherlands, about. you know, Amsterdam's all, all the, uh, the You know the everywhere. other thing I always got told? When a bloke tells you his tally, you divide it by two. And on the other end of the spectrum, you, you times it by two. What do you mean? When, mean? A, when a girl tells you her tally, you oh, times it by two. Because blokes like, fib up yeah. and girls fib down. Which is have wrong. you been told that? No, I haven't. What if they did, instead of doing Who countries. Who are you having conversations with? Instead of doing, <laughs> if they didn't do countries, they just did like suburbs. So like what would Bondi oh, yeah. be? Oh, oh Bondi. Bondi. Yeah, yeah. All it'd, be, it'd be very different to uh, yeah. those wankers. Say Rudy Hill. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no one, I, we, I, yeah, don't get me started on the blow-ins and Bondi. Anyway, boys, mm-hmm. how good's rugby league? Oh, it's a good way As again, Chad Townsend it? says. Yeah. Love yeah. it. What, what Our was, highlight, boys, on the show that, that we, we kicked off at the top was the Xavier Coates trial. What did yeah. you think of that? Yeah. Oh, mate, it was the, the, the greatest... I mean, in the context of what, what it meant for the game, the, the, the actual the finish itself. Would we be talking about it like we are if it was the first try of the match and the game ended up 24-20? I, I think we'd, we'd certainly be... be still talking about it in glowing terms. Like, it, it was an f- unbelievable effort. I was saying, Fletch, like, even back in the day when you weren't allowed to touch the corner post, you didn't even touch the corner post. Mm. Like it no. It would have stood in any era, yeah. that try. And yep. it was just spectacular. It was mm. so... I had people messaging from, from the US saying, mate, I just watched that on Saturday, saying, I just watched that try. Ooh. It's amazing. Were they yeah. Aussies in the US or converted? Aussies. Yeah, Aussies. Oh, okay. Yeah. You should have built that up a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said that. Um, and what about... Uh, okay, I'm going to ask you this, Satsy. Mm-hmm. You, Lockie Ilias has been uh, dropped. Yep. Oh, yeah, is, he, is it, is it, is it, it official? Well, yeah. they're saying they're saying that it will be Dean Hawkins yes, replacing him. That's the that's the early mail. Ha- right. Harsh or they persevere with him? Like harsh. Yeah. I think it's harsh. Mm. I think like, they put the future in him, and and a lot of his concerns aren't his concerns. Rat and I were talking about it earlier. I think it's I think far more the the marquee players are, are probably going to take a little bit more responsibility. But he's one of the best defenders in the comp yeah. as a halfback, and they put their future in him. And I've got to say, I. I I feel as though that he's just got to find a voice and he's not going to learn anything in second grade. No. I mean, he uh, goes down there, learns his timing and, and gets everything right and then it's at a slower pace. Then he goes back to first grade where it's a far more hectic. And Yeah. Yeah, so I, I think you've got to stick with him. I just think, yeah, look, there's just too much noise around that club that isn't related to football. Mm. Yeah. And it's just, you know, there's a bit of a pressure cooker situation in there and I, I don't know what's going on there, but, you know, since halfway through last year... Um, you know, it's it's you're not you're not hearing much about you know how good the South are going on the field. You're hearing stuff about what's happening off the field, and that's never a good sign for a club. Just staying on South Sydney, boys. So they got Roosters this weekend. Yep. Doesn't get any easier. Could be on three. Mm-hmm. Did you guys catch the audio of Josh Mansour on the James Graham podcast talking yeah. about Jason Demetrio? Yeah. I mean, is it death by a thousand cuts for poor Jason? Like, where where does this place him now? We just re-signed last year. Yeah. So um, I don't know. Who, who knows? You know, it's if they're 0-3, he knows that it comes with the territory. He knows there's going to be pressure put on him. It's nothing new when it comes to coaching. But if they go 0-3, it's probably not how they get – it's not if they get beaten, it's how they get beaten if it's 0-3. Yeah, but, I'm, I'm, but if you add in 0-3 plus – I mean, it's not necessarily him, but the, the Latrell swearing thing – 
the Ilias dropping, the Mansour thing, what happened with Sam Burgess at the back end of last year. It just feels like a culmination of multiple issues at the club. Mm, I'm not concerned about the Mansour thing because he was a he was an ageing player at the end of his career and he wanted yeah. to go in another direction. So the Sam thing wasn't great. I, I, we've got to say that. And a lot of his comments, I suppose, or his beliefs are starting to starting to sort of bubble to the surface a little bit, maybe. Yeah, well, they've played... They've, coming up this weekend, they've played three good sides. They've played yeah. Manly, who, you know, we've seen what, how good they're going. They've put Brisbane and the Chooks. So I still think that he'll be there um, until... Like, if they don't... If they're none and zero and six, I think that's when they'll start asking well, What, what about if we include last season? So they've won four of their past 15. Yeah. Mm. That's after they, you know... were. Absolutely cruising midway through last year. Yeah. Uh, do do you take point. that into account? Because it's all under Demetrio's uh, guidance. I mean, the, the squad's not too different. I think they're a mm. massive show this week. Massive there's show. Of, they are. There's a lot of talent there. Yeah. Just, oh, heaps of talent. But mm. is, and I look at that talent and go, really? Is Ilias the main problem? Yeah. yeah you're I, exactly right, Miss O. I think Whiten, Whiten will, it's, it's the, Shot of in, it's the injection of enthusiasm. Yeah. Becoming a student of the game, Miss Hull, hanging around Fletch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking. Like, the like, analytical like, minds in Lockie, here in the Sydney <laughs> <laughs> studio. Lucky Ilias haven't had a chance to play with a guy like Jack Whiten outside. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm. If I had one bit of advice, and this came from um, Adrian Lamb, I never forget one once I was talking to him about it, and he was sort of struggling a little bit of form, and the way he got around it was push up with a front rower. Or a back rower. That was a back row at the time. And he used to say to me, right, I'll tip it on to me. I'm just going to hit up. I'm just going to jam it into it. Mm. And it sort of worked for him. That's how he got his confidence. Just get his head in the game. Just He just mm. said, oh, I'm just not taking the line on. And I just I just want to get into it and just get mm. physical. Yeah. And well, funnily enough, after he did he did about three of them. He got whacked. Yeah. But his form turned around in, in basically go. one game. So, M- Mate, Lammy was my uh, origin roommate. Yep. Um, his advice to me was very different. To you? Yeah. yeah in what, origin. What did he say? I, 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 I can't go into it, but it was very oh, different. Oh, okay. That. Right. <laughs> hey, did he, was, was it one of your passes, Fletch, that he ran off that time that Ruben Wickey <laughs> broke every rib in cut his him body? In half. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I thought he <laughs> killed him. That was, oh, that was up there with one of the... Uh, hey, oh, what, yeah, do you think about, what do you think about Leichhardt Oval saying in two years for professional sport? Oh, gone. Yeah. I know. It's not good, is it? It's not. It's terrible. Chris Minns, mm. I mean, he's. Ta- I, I said this earlier, he's taken our golf course away. He's taken nine holes. He's sold off Wenning Park. He's sold off Rose Hill. Use some of that money and like, you can't get rid of Leichhardt over. Leichhardt, yeah. Mm. Well, I reckon 20 to 50 mil it's going to cost to do what they need to do. It, I mean, it's a lot of money, but for a, for a council, like particularly in Sydney, surely they can find it somewhere. Well, mm. why did Penrith get an upgrade? Like, is it Why the Cowboys get a new stadium? Well, that's state. That's state government. Yeah, but, but, but I know. But like, you know what I mean? Like, it's why, you know. Is it they don't play get... enough games at Leichhardt Oval or they just trying to centralise everyone to play at Allianz? Like, Tigers should be playing at Allianz, I, I think. There should be – I can't believe they've built an $800 million stadium and Rugby League gets roughly nine games a year or ten games mm. a year. Yeah. I'm yeah, not, I just I can't understand it. Don't you think we should have at least two games there? Which one's Allianz? That's the new football stadium. stadium. Yeah, yeah, footy stadium. Yeah. Footy yeah. stadium. It's awesome. Yeah. Well, well, isn't it, aren't your mates there the Roosters? Aren't they blocking everyone from getting a run? No, yeah, true. No, Good no, point, no, mate. They're not blocking it out. They, Matt, they, they've got oh. no, no say in it. The, the Bunnies have signed an agreement out at Homebush, mm-hmm. and they're under contract out there. But, but it's the same mob that runs both. Yeah, but they can't get out of it because they they can't get out of that contract. That, well, that well, makes sense having South at Moore Park because. They're course. actually closer. Of course. Yeah, absolutely. So hey, uh, some questions weeks. coming through, boys, for you, Sats mm-hmm. and Rat. Uh, hey, boys, just off to a Red V meeting tonight at St. George Leagues Club with all the coaches. What question oh. should I be asking Flanagan? What about Steve timing? from Norellan? Mm-hmm. What are the timing that's gone yeah, into the members? After round two, you yeah. can uh, come and talk with the coaches. Well, well, I was saying to Sats before, boys, and I, and I, I mean, you, you, we saw some pretty average performances in round one. And then those teams turned them around and vice yeah. versa. And the Dragons were that. Like, they were, pretty, they were pretty good in round one and then they were pretty average. And the Dolphins, they flipped the, flipped the switch. And, but it sort of just shows that in this competition, you, you don't have to be off by much. And, and once you're on the back foot, it's just almost impossible to regain momentum. Like, mm. any team can put you to the sword mm. um, if, if they get it right. I, I, I wouldn't be 
you know, I wouldn't be jumping in shadows if I was a I reckon there'll be a lot of questions, boys, around Zach Lomax. Even though he's playing really good on the wing and getting heaps of involvement, so I think the fans of the Red V will probably know want to know why he's on the wing mm, and yeah. why he's not in the centres or why he's not playing fullback, whatever it may be. I think he's doing a good job on the wing. He's getting plenty of work. Yeah. I'd be asking mm-hmm. him. I'd be asking who's some of the players we're targeting for the coming yep. years. Yep. Please, Mr. Flanagan. Mm. Um, Jordy, Taylor Jordy May, Potatoes, you reckon? One. Well, yeah. Taylor May, he hasn't re-signed. I'm hearing it could be May times two at the red, white, and blue. Mm. <laughs> That's what <laughs> I'm that hearing. Right? That's what I'm yeah. hearing. Well, right. no Manu. No yep. Joseph Suwali'i. They're obviously gone to the dark what side. What about Luciani Leilua, who sort of said, I want to go to the Cowboys because I see the Dragons are on the up. He's not a great week to go there, was it? What? No. It mm. wasn't, but Wayne, he's a genius, isn't he? Just turns him around. Uh, could be time for this. I think it is. Okay, yeah. What about this? A married Bronco supporter mm. drove 900 kilometres for what he thought he was going to have an affair with a woman he had chatted to on the internet, only to discover it was a hoax set up by two Panthers fans he had met on holiday in, uh, in Cairns. Simon XL from Orkinflower made the trip to Sydney to meet a woman he had been flirting with online for weeks. When he arrived at the house, Emma, inverted commas, was nowhere, but he, nowhere to be seen. Three hours later, the pranksters called him and confessed it was all a trick. They taped the conversation and they put it onto YouTube and Facebook, accompanied <laughs> by an embarrassing photo of him in his Broncos oh. juice. Uh, Simon, well, Mr. XL, uh, then discovered that he had, sorry, his wife, Sorry, then discovered he had an, intended to have an affair and she ended the marriage. Oh. That's not a Queensland problem. That's a New South Wales problem because he they drove Broncos, down to your yeah, state. But they were Bronco supporters who yeah, did it. Mm. So they've so set him up. It's the border, mate. It's, doesn't, doesn't matter. It's territory. Uh, that No. That's brutal. It's terrible. What would you do? Well, well it's, you know, it's not poor good. form on his right, trying to have an affair. but. Mm. Well, he's from Orkinflower. What happens pretty to Orkinflower? Pretty average by the, the guy setting it up. Everyone's from Queensland, so that's what I'm trying to say here. Mm. Panthers fans, God bless them. Panthers fans. <laughs> God just bless them. We did that to one of our teammates. Oh, Daddy Bass. Oh, here, he oh, here we go, Daddy. Yeah. What happened, Daddy? Um, there was these lovely ladies hanging around the footy boys. Mm-hmm. Colonels? Glenn, Glenn Innes footy trip, shout out. Um, you travelled to Glenn Innes? Yeah, the, the whole school. Oh, oh this is school. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. And um, one of the one of the ladies kind of came over and spoke to a group of boys, and boys. he was like, "Oh, she's stunning! Like, I'm going to get her like Instagram and stuff." And we told one of the girls, "Like, give us like uh, one of the numbers," and he thought it was her number, but for the next three days on the camp, it was us messaging Texting back him. and forth. Mm. Yeah. And that night, he's like, oh, boys, like, fishing. check this out. Like, She's texting me. I've got She's this. Yeah, me. I'm on, I'm on. She wants to meet up tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I so can the imagine next... the conversations, Daddy. Oh, it man. wouldn't have been, she wants to meet up tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's, they, they get pretty curly. That we, we did a similar one, Fletch, and got a got an, a dick pic of one of our mates. Oh. Yeah. yeah, we were was living that... in a share house with boys, and we was... were sending him messages, and we're saying, you know, send us a pic of Johnson. You a bunch, that swimming team, was. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> send us a figure of Johnson, and he sent it. He sent it, to, and he came into the other room where we are, and he's going, "What do you reckon? You know, do I, you know, full full mast yeah, or?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go, "Mate, yeah, you got to fluff it up, got to fluff it up." And yeah, yeah, sweet, oh, sweet. He sent it to you. <laughs> he sent it through to us. Oh, yeah, <laughs> rank stuff. <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> this was that very oh, early days of Facebook. Know, so all you all you had to do was go onto Facebook, change your name, and change your profile picture to a chick. And then just start messaging him. And he didn't this is clue pure it. Catfish. This is the show Catfish. Yeah, but this was us sitting in the lounge room, him sitting in his bedroom, and he comes in the lounge room, boys, boys. At least he's honest. He was asking for advice. Yeah. Yeah. Was this Kowalski? <laughs> <laughs> I used to love Kowalski. Oh, he's a 1,500 metres for more, isn't he? Yeah, he was a gun. Good. Did him he, and, did he him get and, a bronze? Him and, um, or silver. 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 Yeah, Perkins him and, beat him, didn't he? Yeah, him and Perko were always. Was it his nickname Perko? Was he a Perko? Was he a Perko? No, was that his nickname, Perko, Kieran Perkins? Mm, not sure. Before my time. You don't really have, I mean, you, you had Skippy. Yeah, Skippy. As, Skippy. As a, as yeah. Hacky. Yeah, Hacky, that's not. Thorpey. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's all like, like. All the E's. Yeah, it's all mm. the E's. Torpedo. Mm. Yeah, you were the missile. Did, would mm. people call you missile? Yeah. Or the Mago? No. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Mago. Yeah, you, <laughs> you maggot. Boys, what's on, yeah. your, what's on your show tonight? 
Um, oh, what have we got? What have we got? Just going to look at the run sheet right now. Uh, what have we got? Well, okay. well, oh, actually, right. <laughs> we've got our Sports Day Player of the Week, yeah, which man. we're going to give a there's, a there's a prize at the end of the year, Sports Day Player of the Year, and Bryce Cartwright is at the leaderboard from last week. Yeah, so he's, far. He's, he's a winner last week. Who, so, do you, who, who do you reckon was this player of the round? Oh, this round, I thought Hammer had an absolute storm. He did. How, yeah. I love watching him run. Mm. I love yeah. watching him run. I wish I could run yep. like that. Mm. Hey boys, what, what? Uh, either of you, Dally M judges? Uh, Correct. Correct. negative. I am. You are. So why can't? Why do you have to be anonymous now? So so, so they don't get abused. Oh, yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Really? That's the reason. Oh, so well, imagine Sats, if you wouldn't care though. You're getting abused. Well, he picked the right people, so he wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were. Yeah. Were you on the one giving Nico Hines? All the points last week. Eight last right. week? No. Nico went all right, but he, nah. he wasn't the best. He wasn't. Yeah, field. yeah. Hey, mm. question for you, Rat. Uh, yeah. The Crusaders. Yeah. What's doing there? Yeah. Oh, struggling. Well, they've got... Um, Did they go 0-3? Yeah. yeah. Wow. 0-4. Oh, oh, uh, on 4 Yeah. Um, they'll, they'll probably be 0-6. Um, they've got a, a new halves, 9 and 10. And, um, mate, when you... Well, you think about the, the people that they've had in those positions over the last you know, 15, 20 years, you know, the Dan Carters and the Andrew Mertens and the Justin Marshalls and, mm. and you know, the, the list goes on. But when those players came in, they had, you know, stability around them, right? like real, you know, experience and guidance. And, um, yeah, I, I just don't think they've really struggled with adversity, this team, ever. And now they're feeling it and they're not dealing with what it What about the well. former league, former North Sydney Bear, Les Kiss? Mm. He's flying at the Queensland yeah, Reds. Yeah, running mm. second on the table now. Mm. Where's just, uh, um, Thorny? He's out of the game altogether. He's out of the game. Yeah, yeah. he's out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he should give Lee a shot, coaching. Mm. Oh, mate. Yeah, he'd be great, I reckon. Hey, um, Rat, now I know you love a conspiracy theory, and this is all yep. over TikTok. Talk to me. This is all mm-hmm. over TikTok. So you know the Kate Middleton stuff, how she hasn't oh, been yeah. since yeah, Christmas? Photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they reckon... She's been that, spotted. Yeah, they reckon they're doing mm. this to take away the heat from Thomas Kingston. So Thomas Kingston is mar- or was married to Prince William's cousin. So she was a lady. I think she was the daughter of the Duchess of Kent of some sort. Anyway, Thomas Kingston was found uh, shot. He had a, it said suicide, but apparently the signs weren't suicide. Like he was shot in the back of the head. Are we talking harvesting <laughs> organs here? Well, they're saying that they're trying to do the Kate Middleton stuff to take away from what went on with this Thomas Kingston. So mm. they, they're holding her back. It's everyone in the in the world is talking about where's Kate Middleton look over here look over here look over here and then bang <laughs> so it's pretty mm. heckos it's in the it's the Thomas Kingston is all the stuff you're hearing right about uh, the harvesting of organs for different family members etc oh I've, I've heard I've heard about it yeah um, hang, on, hang on what the royal family yeah because they're lizards or reptiles yeah, no yeah, because I, pe- people in the family are sick and might want to live longer yeah yeah, yeah. it's um yeah probably who makes up this shit <laughs> oh, mate. Seriously. Well, Matt Rogers, mate, right? He's the one that makes it up. Where there's smoke, uh, where there's smoke, Fletch. Oh, you know, there's nah. generally fire. You know, somebody there's knows smoke, something. there's a vape. <laughs> well, whatever happened to the alien, I, I found that that was all a hoax. You know, the guy that came out and said that he worked for um, the government. Yeah. And he said yeah. that. Yeah. And that's been proven that the bloke never worked at the government. Is that right? Who yeah. was that? I don't know. Not Bob Lazar. Old, no, no. It was, no, like, no, it was an no, old no, dude no, on his him. deathbed and said, in between 1967 <laughs> and 1969, I was working for the. For the CIA. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm all in on the. I, I think there are aliens out there. I'm just, I'm not sure. Hundred percent, there are. Hundred percent. I've oh, seen too many videos. But you haven't seen one. No one else. No one you know exactly. has seen an alien. I see, I see it, mate. You got to follow UFO sightings on oh, on oh. Uh, on Instagram. Yeah, you see them every Instagram's day. Instagram's not real, rat. Instagram <laughs> is not real life. Have you oh. ever Have you ever met anyone who has seen one? Ah, uh, no. No, but I haven't. I mean, I, I haven't searched one, a person out who said they've seen one. But but I, you know, if I ever went there's over... that story in Brazil where they were walking around the street. Oh, it's a great docker. Oh, yeah. Hey, they were cruising around. I used to see a few aliens at St Pat's Tavern at about four a.m. <laughs> oh yeah, well, mm. mate, I work with one. He's sitting next to me. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I mean, each their own. If, I suppose if you've got to believe. Do you believe in? Uh, have you? Are you religious? Either you. Rat or no. um, oh, I no. go to church from time to time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You're religious. Do you believe there's yeah. a God? No, oh, I believe there's something. There's a higher power. Something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think the God could be an alien? 
Well, potentially, maybe. Could be. That's what. Who uh, knows? That's what. Uh, <laughs> oh, you know what I think, Fletch? The Big Bang Theory doesn't check out. Okay. Worst show on TV. <laughs> yeah, that was a oh, stinker, wasn't it? Oh, terrible! Give yourself That's an good. uppercut, Sheldon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind Katie Kuko. Uh, no idea who you're talking about. Oh, the blonde chick. Yeah, Katie. yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a grouse. No maths though. Is it? Please tell me you're into maths. Oh, how good's maths? Yeah, I like oh, maths. Awesome. Outstanding. I've never watched it. Oh, never watched Sarah, it. Sarah, honestly. Never All right. Um, uh, well, here we go. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Not into reality Samara. TV. Samara. Fletch, Kate's uncle went on Celebrity Big Brother UK last week and in a conversation said she's really <laughs> sick and not even he has seen her or is allowed to call her. Oh, this, hey. might, this might be the getting the kidneys out. Yeah, and potentially. Mate, Jake's into me. He says, Rat is a stereotypical middle-aged white bogan conspiracy theorist. Yeah. Oh, oh Jake. boy. Uh, I'll back that. Yeah. Oh, boy. Are you a bogan? <laughs> Oh wow, mate! I've got a, I've got a. I was probably one of the first to get a Southern Cross tattoo. It triggered a, oh, that's it triggered right. a movement. And you were down there, the ride. The <laughs> yeah, I was down there. I wasn't a part of yeah, it. Yeah, you were. Ran, you I were ran. smashing <laughs> windows with Kobe <laughs> Abbott. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna right, go, boys. boys. Enjoy the show. Yeah, yeah mate. Go that's Scott Sattler and Matt Rogers.